I am Sammy Rollins, and I'm a professor in the computer science department. And I do research in the area of mobile computing. So I'm interested in looking at how we can do new and interesting things with mobile devices, so things like cell phones. So if you think about a cell phone, uh, it's a computing platform that a huge percentage of the world carries with them wherever they go. So it would be nice to be able to do interesting things with this computing platform, for example, monitor air quality. In particular, in my work, I look at battery lifetime. So for example, if my cell phone is spending its battery monitoring air quality, then that leaves less battery for me to make phone calls or send texts or check my email. Um, and so what we would like to understand is how people use the batteries on their phones and how we can build new applications um, that will intelligently use the battery. One of the ways in which I work with students is I have them write software for phones like this one, the Google Nexus One. And students get very excited and motivated when you ask them to write software for the, the latest and greatest smartphone. We're using these uh, small sensors produced by Sun. They're called Sunspots. Um, and these little guys have a temperature sensor, an accelerometer, a light sensor, um, and the little flashing lights. Um, and they can talk to one another. So we're building applications that allow these guys to sense what's going on in their environment and then share that information with other sensors. So I'm very excited about the new project space that computer science will have in the new building. For me in particular, my students work a lot with different types of technology, things like sensors or phones. So particularly in my classes, this new space is going to be useful because we can have a seminar style class and then I can have students break out into groups and actually put the technology you know, all over the table, deploy the technology in such a way that they can then sort of look at what they're doing, run different experiments, run different programs, and in a very interactive way, um, utilize this technology in a space that's really designed for that.